hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I understand that for some, watching reset videos can trigger feelings of pressure or stress. However, my intention for this video is to offer you a chance to unwind, gain clarity and a hint of motivation. Now before we begin, make yourself comfortable, perhaps grab your planner to join me in this resetting routine, as I'll be exploring my A5 agenda and my Notion planner as they both work in harmony to help me stay on track and achieve the goals that I've set out for myself. So let's start off with a little bit of an unboxing. I purchased some more planner accessories from May Paper Co. So I've been purchasing from May Paper Co for the past few years now and only since my last video did we actually start collaborating. So I now have a discount code which I will leave in the description box below. In here I have already opened this because I have been using some of the accessories for my cash stuffing which I'll show you those as well. So in this box I'll just move my coffee out the way. Now the packaging is always so beautiful. We have a little envelope here which I will open. The receipt. We also have a little planner size guide which is going to be so helpful for me because I actually like to create my own customized planner dashboards and this has all the sizes that I would need for every type of planner. We've also got some stickers. These are freebies. I didn't order these so this is great. So they are their foiled stickers and they say things like work, email, deadline, contact and meeting. So they will be great for my actual 9 to 5 job. And then we've also got some cards. So this one here, create your own path, don't wait for it to be paved. Absolutely love this. This is actually her thank you card but it has a dual purpose. So I've been using this this in my A5 planner and I'm so excited that I've got another one because I do want to use this in another planner which I have recently purchased and then we've also got two monthly cards so we've got March and April which I love to use these again as kind of decoration throughout my planner so writing utensils so I did order a pen because I find it's difficult to find pens that have a very fine point so this is the Saras Zebra Sarasa clip 0.3 so very, very fine. I believe this was like under $4, maybe like $3 or something. And then I also ordered some monthly inserts. So I have never tried monthly inserts, but I also have never used daily ones until this year. And I feel like these will be great just so I can see my month before I start getting into the daily planning. And then something else that I ordered that I've actually already been using is a new cash stuffing binder. And then for this binder, I also ordered a new dashboard, which is all about simplicity, which I just loved and really resonated with. I did create my own dashboard as well for this for underneath, just some nice little coconuts. And then at the back of my cash stuffing planner, we also have an expense tracker. So this is just lined paper where I can track my expenses. So I now have two cash stuffing binders, which I'm so excited about. If you're interested in this type of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you will be notified of my future uploads. And I do have a lot more of this kind of content coming, which I'm super excited about. And then in addition to all of those planner accessories I just purchased, I have all my existing ones. So this box actually came with my A5 planner and I use it to hold all of the inserts that I'm not using, any dashboards that I'm not using, I'll be going through this and selecting which things I want to change up. I wouldn't mind changing up some dashboards and just make my planner look really fresh. So now it's time to get into the zone. My hair is going up, my headphones are going on, and I will be listening to Lo-Fi Girl. You can find her playlists on either Spotify or YouTube, and they just really help me to stay focused. I also have this Focus Roll-On Essential Oil, which is just a nice, I found it in my desk, if I'm honest, when I was reorganizing, and I really do love using essential oils because they really do make you feel calm. So I'm going to pop my Notion Planner to the side because we'll go through that afterwards, but for now, we're just going to reset my A5 Planner. So the first thing I like to do is reflect. Think about all the things in the past quarter that I would like to improve on and just make a list. That way I'm just aware of them as I'm planning for the next quarter. So for me, things like sticking to my finance budgets, daily walks and stretching, as well as wedding planning. I feel like I need to be a little more focused in all of those areas. So now I'm going to go through each month and mark out important dates. So I've just looked up on Google any public holidays as well as my RDOs, paydays, birthdays, events, 
Anything that is important that I don't want to forget, I will mark out on this monthly planner and also list any details below. I also like to go through each day and mark out these important dates. I know for some it may be double handling, but for me, it's just nice as I flick through my daily planner, I am able to see exactly what I have on that day. If I have an appointment, if it's someone's birthday that I need to message and anything that I just don't want to forget. Now that my A5 planner is all reset, I wanted to give you guys a Notion tour. So if you prefer a digital planner and you're not already aware of Notion, you're going to love it. I'm loving it so much so I might be a digital planner girly in future. Right now, I really do love using a combination of both a physical planner and a digital planner. I think it's more because the physical planner allows me to have that creative outlet. However, this digital planner is amazing and I find it is just so easy to use. So I highly recommend using a template in the beginning. I actually got this one for free from a girl on YouTube. I'll link her channel below and she's obviously put so much time and effort into this template and it's absolutely amazing. I feel like her brain works the same as mine. And once you copy it, if there's too much information, you simply just delete what you don't want and keep what you're going to use. So that's exactly what I did. I have four tabs here, one for personal planning, finance, content, and orderly, which is my Etsy store. And then down here, I simply have daily ticks as well as this little calendar widget, which I love. And she had this little thumbnail here that says consistency and I love that. So she's obviously a content creator herself and I feel like consistency is like a key word for anyone who creates content. So I also use Notion for my nine to five job. I have another tab here called Data Officer and it's amazing. It's almost like a completely separate book and I like to keep track of projects, to-do lists, any requests that I have, and that way I can access it from work as well as when I'm working from home. However, today I'm just going to share with you my personal planner. So let's go through each tab and that way you can see how I like to plan and you might find some inspiration and just insight into how I use it. So like I said, for my physical planner, that is where I keep date specific information. It's great to see my year at a glance. And of course you can do that in Notion, but for now, I just like to keep in my personal planner, just ongoing to-do list. I have a wedding to-do list, healthy habits. So in here, I've started to record things that I do in my life that spark joy. Because I think it's very easy to forget the things that actually bring you joy and a sense of self. So here I have walking along the beach, looking for shells, solo runs with good music and magnesium for bed. These are all health and fitness things that make me feel really good. Sense of self, I started to jot down dot points of things that might be unique to me that really fill my cup. So watching Antiques Roadshow, plan a reset evenings like I'm doing right now, watching history documentaries, reorganizing my desk and my tech, cleaning my handbags, and reading fantasy and romance novels. So all of those little things that make me feel really good. So if I ever find myself laying on the couch, scrolling through Instagram reels or TikTok, I will often refer back to this list and just fill in my time with things that actually 
bring me a lot of joy. And then here I also have a little list for relationships because I am prone to be very introverted and I need to remind myself to call family, text friends and organize catch ups. Um, it's not that I don't love being with my friends and family. It's I often forget and before you know it, months have gone by and I haven't put in any effort. So that's just a little reminder there. Heading back to my planner. Let me close that. So moving on to finance, this is where I record my Etsy earnings, my collaboration earnings, as well as cash stuffing. So I find that I was using a lot of Excel spreadsheets that were just saved to my desktop and it was just getting a little bit messy. They were hard to find and I wasn't really recording finance information properly. So since having this tab, each one of these are basically an Excel spreadsheet and it's just so easy to find, especially when it comes to tax time. So absolutely love this little finance tab. Moving on to content. So of course I use both Instagram and YouTube when I'm you know, creating content. And in here I have my schedule. So here we have a list. We've got not started, up next, in progress and published. So here I can record any video ideas. I can then start scheduling them so I know what I'm going to be filming next and you can drag and drop these which is really good. So sometimes I plan to film a wardrobe or fashion related video. However, on the day I might be really keen to film something planner related. So I will just shuffle these around because if there is no motivational passion behind the video to begin with, then it's just not going to turn out well. So I will change these up depending on how I feel. And then if I've already started filming them or editing them, they'll move to in progress and then published. And then I can also categorize them, whether they're for YouTube or Instagram. And then if I take a look at my calendar, you can also see a calendar view of when all of these videos are planned to go live. So that has really helped me stay consistent with my content. For me, YouTube comes first. And then if I have time, I will post to Instagram and TikTok. And then I also have a tab for orderly. So I've got a to-do list, a product list. So in here, any products that I'm currently selling or ones that I would like to sell and any new product ideas. And then also postage. So for example, the large tote bag organizer, this is what it weighs, this is its length, width and height, because every single time I post an item, I have to put this information in. So every time I now do um, some, I haven't recorded many lately because this template is new, but I want to record the dimensions of weight for every product. So that way I find it easier when it comes to shipping orders. So that's currently the tabs that I have. I will create more as I go. However, I find a lot of stuff will fall within these categories. Like I said, I've got a wedding to-do list, a weekly meal plan, a fitness tracker, um, and anything else should fall within these. So coming down, I also have the daily ticks. So originally this template had a vision board widget and a lot of other beautiful widgets, which of course you can keep. I decided to remove them just because I wanted to keep it very simplified. These are little ticks that I need to get done quite soon. So respond to the marriage celebrant, order Dymo labels and order postage bags. And then I love how I can see the month at a glance here with this little widget and then consistency. So I absolutely love this template. I think it's so aesthetically beautiful. I've kept all the images the same and I've simply just input my information and removed anything that I'm no longer using. So again, I will link this template below. So if you are looking to start a digital planner, you can simply copy this and input the information that you will need. So there you have it guys. That is my complete quarterly reset. I feel amazing. I've got so much clarity. I know exactly what's coming up. And I don't know if you've noticed that the lighting has changed. It is the afternoon now. I have been in here for hours. I just thoroughly enjoy this whole process. If you did like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. From what I can see on my analytics, there's like 80% of my returning viewers are not yet subscribed, which is just crazy. So yeah, it helps me out a lot. And it's also nice to see whenever you leave comments, I can actually see um, if you're subscribed and how long you've been subscribed for. And it's just really nice to know, I don't know, who's new and also who's been with me for quite some time. And don't forget to check out May Paper Co. I'll leave her store link below as well as my discount code. And I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.